Greetings from Washington, D.C. This is Peter Thomas, the NAOP General Counsel, with a special alert. Three important developments occurred this week in Washington, and we thought it was important to get you that information right away. Uh, the first involves uh, passage of a, an important research bill uh, that uh, will most assuredly impact orthotics and prosthetics. Uh, the second involves a very important court decision uh, by the Court of Appeals in the District of Columbia that impacts the administrative law judge backlog. And third is a rather negative development that occurred as a result of the President issuing his fiscal year 2017 budget. First, the good news. The Senate uh, Health, Education, Labor, and Pensions Committee, the HELP Committee, marked up legislation yesterday uh, uh, with the number S-800 on rehabilitation research at the National Institutes of Health. The bill is designed to better coordinate, raise the stature and visibility of, of rehab science at NIH within that $32 billion institute uh, or, or, or set of institutes and centers. There's 27 of them. One of them is named the National Center for Medical Rehabilitation Research. And this is the center that the NAOP and its predecessor organization, the American State of the Art Prosthetic Association, helped create in 1990 by statute. This is the first uh, bill that addresses in legislation that center and the research that comes from that center. And it's designed to give greater focus and coordination to rehab science across the different agencies within that uh, uh, the nation's premier research enterprise, the National Institutes of Health. Now that it's passed the committee, it will move on to the full Senate. And in the, in the House, uh, the two primary sponsors, Congressman Langevin and Congressman Harper, have already made announcements and sent around dear colleague letters encouraging their colleagues to move this bill uh, forward quickly. The important thing about orthotics and prosthetics is that the National Center, one of its missions is to conduct and support orthotic and prosthetic research and development. So it's an important bill uh, for the OMP community, one that NAOP strongly supports, along with the AAOP and the NPT Coalition. Next issue is a court decision that was uh, issued yesterday as well by the Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia where they reversed a lower court's denial of relief to the American Hospital Association, which sued the Secretary of Health and Human Services uh, to compel the Secretary to decide ALJ cases within 90 days. The Medicare statute requires the Office of Medicare Hearings and Appeals to decide ALJ decisions within 90 days from being asked for a hearing. And yet, as everyone knows, the backlog of a million cases in the OMHA has prevented ALJs from doing this. In fact, last year, uh, the average delay uh, was about 532 days. But you and I know, as a result of the ONP appeals that have come through the system, that in, in many instances the delay is much longer than that. The appeals court said that uh, Basically, the district court erred, and it reversed the case and sent it back to the district court to decide whether to compel the agency to decide cases in 90 days, and made some very important legal uh, conclusions. Uh, we'll write about those conclusions in our NAOP update. This doesn't decide the case or just solve the situation for the delay in ALJ hearings, but it certainly is good news, and it sends back to the lower court uh, this case for them to consider and make a decision later this year as to what they plan on doing with the, ba with the backlog. Finally, uh, some bad news. Uh, the Obama administration issued its last budget of its uh, eight-year term yesterday as well. And in that budget is included a proposal to competitively bid all of orthotics and prosthetics. Current law requires, or allows, I should say, uh, off-the-shelf orthotics to be competitively bid by Medicare, uh, but CMS has not yet pursued this approach. The new budget proposal would allow CMS to expand competitive bidding to all prosthetics and orthotics. Now, this is a negative proposal. It's one that the NAOP and all of the ONP associations, I presume, will strongly fight 
uh, and we will need to mount a defense uh, to this proposal. But I also want to put this in perspective. This is the President's budget. The President won't be uh, uh, in office next year. Uh, it's very unlikely there will be a major Medicare bill this year. Uh, the President often proposes a number of things in his budget in order to save money uh, so that he can apply those, uh, those savings to offset the cost of things that he'd like to do in a more positive way and spend money in other areas. So uh, there are provisions in the President's budget that have been in there for seven or eight years that never have been passed, and we expect that this proposal is pretty much being thrown out to test the waters and see what people say. We're strongly opposed to it. Uh, I can assure you that many of the dis disability and beneficiary and other clinical groups will be opposed to it. Uh, we will fight it tooth and nail. I don't think it's time to panic. I don't think the sky is falling. This is a proposal that's included in a massive budget that has been declared by the Republican leadership in the House and the Senate as being dead on arrival already. So we wanted to make sure you were aware of it, and we wanted to make sure that you uh, heard quickly these two very encouraging uh, developments and this one negative one. Thanks so much, and we'll, we'll speak at the end of the month.